thank you for watching. I would like to talk today about project management offices and how they are changing over the time, especially with the use of more data analytics. So the topic here is data-driven PMO. Today's PMO, as always, cannot just focus on technology, but we need to think about things that go beyond software. And I have a blog that talks about that. Uh, but our purpose today is to talk about data analytics and about thinking about data-driven PMOs. So software is not the key here. The key is to think about the data, to think about the processes, the people, and the tools. As before, we always focused on people, process, and technology, and software. We said, you know, we cannot focus on technology alone. But today we are adding a fourth element, which is data. We're saying we have to enhance the PMO focus to look at data and this is more doable with the availability of data analytics. Now, how can data analytics help? I'm going to talk about four specific areas where I see data analytics used in uh, PMOs today. One of them is lessons learned. Looking at previous projects, lessons learned is, is very important. PMI, the Project Management Institute, talks about making use of lessons learned on the project itself and on future projects. But unfortunately, using lessons learned is facing many problems. One of them is that data is not archived properly. The other is that data itself is not accessible. And finally, there are no efforts really made to find patterns from the data using data analytics because uh, processing time used to be very expensive. Analytics uh, software was uh, very difficult to use, but today it is doable. We can actually use data analytics tools, simple data analytics tools to help us look through data and find uh, relevant lessons learned for our project. So we can identify insights and we can identify patterns. The other point I wanted to talk about is identifying project success criteria. You'll be surprised at what makes a project successful. I mean, we know the typical stuff of proper planning, the right project manager, etc. But sometimes in organizations, you find other insights that can tell you about uh, success and help you understand what makes success on the project. So we can, using data analytics and data engineering, we can look at features of a successful project, analyze it ensure that we design these features into every new project and these features vary of course by company some of them will be generic across companies uh, the features can be related to the project manager how we do the planning the processes the type of client etc so this is another use of data analytics the third thing we can use uh, data analytics for is predicting project risks Looking at previous patterns of project risk and how risk happens, we can identify certain risk triggers that occurred on previous projects before certain risks happened. And from these triggers, being able to identify this is easier today with data analytics. Identifying these risk triggers will help us predict upcoming problems on our current projects. And again, this with the current availability of tools, it's not uh, that difficult or complicated. It requires a data scientist to work with you, somebody who understands data architecture, but other than that, it is really doable. The fourth point is feature engineering. When, once we determine what information must be gathered on projects, we can actually predict, predict better the performance. Feature engineering means that we look at previous data, and from it we learn about which fields or which types of data help us predict the performance of the project or which types of data are relevant. This many call, even though it's not a scientific term, uh, but it's becoming more and more acceptable out there, uh, is called feature engineering. So I can look at the data, for example, and I find out that probably I don't need, uh, for example, information about the project manager name as much as information about the project manager background and number of years of experience and maybe uh, you can take that and multiply it by certain other factors uh, to create new fields that tell you a little bit more about the project etc this is called feature engineering uh, this is new and trending worldwide so you can uh, it's not too late to join this uh, move and trend uh, companies are already doing this but they are uh, holding this very close to the chest. They're not sharing what they're finding about the features, what they're finding as far as competitive advantage. They consider it something confidential. Uh, so um, you need to start uh, on this and you start creating your own 
uh, data and your own insights into how you can use lessons learned to make your project successful. Thank you for listening. I will be uh, uh, providing more uh, about this subject, so stay tuned. And thank you again.